What's up, guys? Welcome to NBD TV K's all K's all day. If you're rocking with you, you know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. Early national signing day and everything's been running smooth. I've been contempt so far, right? Most of our guys are signing to the left. Most of our guys are signing to the right. Hell, it ain't even nine o'clock yet. And we got half the class signed. We were trying to go big and go after a couple guys who decided not to come this way. But I was like, hey, as long as we keep the guys that are committed, I'm okay. Top five class. Let's 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 lock up these guys and then let's go into the transfer portal. But there's a player who has not signed his letter yet. And that player is Cromani McClain. Now I was I first saw something when I was listening to Andrew Ivins talk on 247's live stream, and he said there's three people I'm looking at. Hakeem Williams, I forgot who the other was. And I'm also taking a look at Cromani McClain. And I said, Cromani McClain? Our Cromani McClain? He's gonna sign. So then I look, I say, well, damn, he hasn't signed yet. Then I flip back and he and Andrew Ivan says he is not signed. Some people are saying he overslept. Overslept? On the biggest day? On a high school's kid's biggest day, he overslept? Okay, maybe. I'm not going to stress myself out. Let's continue to, to, to monitor the situation, but it's no big deal. <laughs> and then the big deal hit the timeline. When his mom tweeted this false alarm, there will be no signing for Cromani McClain today. Sorry for the inconvenience. Woo wee. Sound the alarms. Sound the alarms. In my time of covering recruiting, paying attention to recruiting, there's no such thing as a coincidence. There's just no such thing as a coincidence. People will try to tell you there is. People will try to say, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, this happens all the time. But things happen for a reason. When this news hit, some people are saying he's gone. Other people are saying, hey, he needs to record some type of content for his signing. He's still a Miami Hurricane. Nobody truly knows but Cromani McClain. Remember, throughout this recruitment, no one knew he was going to Florida. Not me, not you, not 247, not on three, not rivals. Nobody knew. Then we had the situation was with he's going to Alabama. He's not going to Alabama. He's visiting Alabama. He's not visiting Alabama. And as of late, we've seen a couple pictures of him with Mario Cristobal that made us feel at ease. And you wake up this morning and he hasn't signed. Listen, I give this, I give this staff a lot of the credit for recruiting and for his recruitment. But with elite players like Kermani, NIL is a big deal. And early national signing day, the day you're supposed to sign, you have the most leverage. You have the most leverage because everybody's anticipating you signing. Everybody can't wait for you to sign. And if you just say, uh, Kirby Smart hit me up last night. He said that I could get this type of NIL package. He said I could get this type of playing time. He said that he'll, that, that he'll be able to develop them into this. Uh, Nick Saban called us last night. Saban said he got us a nice this or that. He could do this or that. It's been stressed that Alabama, who has the top recruiting class, wants to go to have another level. They want to outdo what Texas A&M has done last year. It's been said that, that Alabama needs cornerbacks. Alabama wants Cormani McClain. If you're a Miami Hurricane fan, I think you are doing yourself a disservice if you're just saying this is no big deal, in my opinion, this is a very big deal. In my opinion, when it comes to recruiting, there's no such thing as coincidences. The biggest day of a high school football player's life, he's supposed to sign on a dotted line. It's 
especially now that NIL's a part of it, 